Okay, we are back. So in the previous video, I gave you guys an overview of ClickFunnels and how much it costs and just a general overview of what this landing page creating software is and does. Uh, throughout the process in the previous video, I showed you the basics of choosing a landing page. You just go to Funnels, click on Classic Funnel Builder, choose your goal and then it'll give you a bunch of options for you to choose for a bunch of different templates for you to choose from and I chose this template right here because I like the white background and in previous videos when we talked about spying on our competition I found a landing page that I really liked and I kind of wanted to get ideas from it so this is the swipe file that we built doing our competitive spying manually on Bing ads and I found the Shark Tank landing page. I'm going to open that up. So this was a landing page that showed up at the top of the results when I was doing my spying and it says CLA safflower oil as seen on Shark Tank. And I just really like how simple it is and like it must be working because he was at the top of the search engine results when we typed in CLA safflower oil and that's probably a pretty spendy spot to be so this landing page is probably converting pretty well very simple 100% money back guarantee he's got some bullet points here and then he goes over what is CLA CLA effects and then their offer and a whole lot more actually <laughs> so I'm gonna get I'm going to have this opened up right to the side and just get some ideas. I like having the CLA Safflower Oil bottle right in the middle and having this guy point at it. So I will try to mimic that. So we're in our CLA Safflower Oil landing page funnel. So let's go in and click edit page. So here is a, this is what it looks like when you click edit page. This is... I'll try to go over all the settings and sections, rows, all the elements in this video. I think a good place to start would be how a simple thing like how can I change this color orange to be, let's say, light blue like this. Well, first of all, I'm going to use my color picker up here, the color or page color picker, and you can just type this into Google and there's there's a little extension that you can download. It's super useful. So you just point at any color and you can see it like up here it locks in the color so you just click it and then it automatically copies to your clipboard so I want this to be that color so I'll go to settings Oops. not I can't click here or here and click settings that's the little gear icon I gotta go to the I just ha I have to go till it turns green cuz that'll that controls the whole uh, width so it simply says background color is orange and I'm gonna change that. I'm just gonna paste in exactly what I just copied. Boom. So now this color is that color. And that's gonna look good because I'm about to put a picture here of the bottle. And before I do that, I like to have the actual offer opened on another page just so I can get pictures from this offer as well. So I'm gonna save the CLA Safflower Oil and I'll go CLA. So it's saved. Now I'm going to click on this placeholder picture. And all these settings will come up. The link URL, target URL, width, alternative text. I'm just going to click images. And then add image. So that looks really good. How this uh, blue up here kind of complements off this blue. Uh, it's very congruent, which is very important. And then up here, I don't want this little icon to be navigator, mock logo, placeholder. I can add an image if I want, or I can just put text there. So I'm going to delete that and then add new element. And this pulls up all the elements. And I'm going to go over all of them. So I could put a headline, a subheadline, which is a little smaller, a paragraph element, bullet list. Um, image an image pop-up a video a video pop-up audio player and then there's form this is the form section button Facebook opt-in input so if I wanted to run a email submit landing page 
I'd put input and have name and email and then the button which would submit which would submit the name and email select box text area check box headline SMS sign up billing a billing option is shipping information survey countdown a minute timer or a day timer or an icon image feature navigation frequently asked questions a divider a progress bar image list pricing table uh, social share Facebook comments text block or custom uh, JavaScript or HTML so those are all the elements that you can import into your landing page so for now I'm just gonna do a headline and I'm going to edit it and just write CLA safflower oil so that's black but I want it to be white so it can stand up a little uh, stand out more so text color white and that's how simple that is and I don't need this pre-order up here so I can delete that I'll just delete that whole section actually oops I just deleted all that anyways so I just deleted that but now all I'd have to do to get that back is just add a new row and I'll just do one column and then element and then headline and now I'm back at it okay so we're back so it's just very simple because I'm kind of going off the simpleness of this landing page that's doing good so we have CLA safflower oil and a picture right here but what if I wanted this picture of this guy to be pointing at this bottle I would just come and save this image save it and in order to have him to the left of or to my left of the CLA safflower oil bottle I'm gonna have to add a new a new section and to do that I would just do two columns because I'm gonna have a image in both I'm gonna choose image oops I could just drag this on over here so I got that dragged delete that and then add that image that I just imported so it turned out I didn't save the actual image of the guy this was actually just one big image so I could have that be exactly it or I could I could come and take one of these images from uh, maybe I'll go with this one so I'll save that and delete this picture add in a new one okay so we got both of these images and this seems a little too big because it's not too even so there's two ways that I could get this to look more uh, congruent I can increase the top margin on this picture or I can just scale down this picture a little bit and I'm gonna do that so let's try 300 what would that look like so 300 is that that's probably like 500 so maybe 250 that's a little small I think 300 is a good one so we got 300 there and it's still a little longer down here than this one so I'm gonna increase the top margin and bring it down so that looks pretty good so CLA safflower oil and I'm gonna delete some of these let's see as seen on shark tank mm. I'm gonna write hottest weight loss product available So I just added, I'm just doing this as an example. So hottest weight loss product available now. And then you got the model over here and then the CLA safflower oil. So that's very simple. I am going to add a timer. I'm gonna show you guys how to add a timer. So I'm gonna keep this exactly the way it is, but I'm going to edit the timer actually. And I like doing minute timer because it automatically resets every time a visitor comes to the landing page so I'm gonna go minute timer I'm gonna set it to let's say 25 minutes 
and revisit action is auto reset timer and then you can set an expire action redirect to URL or not I don't mess with that I just leave it as it is and then you can come to themes and choose what kind of theme you want it to be so maybe that that looks good so I'm gonna delete that uh, maybe make it a little bigger and bring that top margin down size large there we go I want it bigger so I'm gonna save it and give it a little preview and one thing you need to know is if you try to save it without editing the SEO metadata or metadata it prompts you to do that so you can just label it CLA Safar oil and then you can give it a description if you want probably spell safflower right uh, best weight loss product and then you can add keywords and I'll just do weight loss author I'll just go CLA and then for the social image you can just import that picture that we just brought in so then every time someone shares it, this picture will pop up along with the link. So got that. Now I can save it and then hit preview. So CLA Safflower Oil, hottest weight loss product available now. And then you got the model, you got the CLA Safflower Oil bottle, and then the countdown timer from 25 minutes, which is working. So that looks pretty good. Now I can go and delete the rest of this. Um, you can just delete the whole section here. That, delete, delete. And if I were setting this up seriously, I would, uh, I'd go and get ideas of what this guy was doing for all of his, uh, all of his sections, you know? Like who should use CLA supplements? I'd kind of get an idea and take some of this information, edit it. You never want to copy and paste exactly because that's just, it's unprofessional. And just add your own creative twist to it. So I'm going to delete. I'm going to edit this copyright down here. 2019 CLA. CLA safflower oil. And then powered by clip funnels. I don't want that on there. Okay, so we have a super simple landing page right here. Let's preview it now. CLA safflower oil. Hottest weight loss product available now. And then you'd obviously need a button that's gonna send them to the affiliate link or the affiliate offer. And we'll go over that in the future, but in this video, I just want to show you how simple it is to create a landing page. And one thing that you need to do every time you build a landing page with ClickFunnels, they automatically have this made with ClickFunnels uh, icon at the bottom right hand corner of your landing pages. You'll want to take that off because this has nothing to do with CLA safflower oil. So to do that, all you have to do is go to settings general affiliate badge hide and then save so now when I go and preview it we don't have the made with click funnels down here like we did so that's one thing to always keep in mind um, I'm gonna add a button in real quick I'm gonna add a new row one column and then add a button click to sign up and I will edit the text to say order CLA safflower oil now or I could even add click here click here to order CLA safflower oil now we'll insert in a tracking link here and I'll go over that in the future um, to make your button full width you can come to advanced and choose full width you see how long that is I will actually just keep it fluid and it just goes from how long your text is. Uh, save. So I'm not going to dive too far into this. I just want to give you guys like the overall 
like the gist of making a landing page and how simple it is to use this. And if you guys did just sign up with me for ClickFunnels, if you get stuck along the lines, message me in the private support or the private Facebook group that I added you to or schedule your Skype call with me if you signed up using my link because that's one of my incentives and I will help you if you get stuck. But honestly, it might seem a little confusing at first, but once you make what your first landing page, your second, third, fourth, fifth, this is gonna come so easily to you guys. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you other little things that you should do to your landing page before actually publishing it and sending traffic to it. So I hope you guys got a lot of value from this and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.